Welcome everyone to Clarity 15.8 support training and we're going to be focusing on roadmap improvements in this section. So first couple of things, uh, there's actually two important things we want to talk about today. We have the configurable roadmap list. The roadmap list has been refactored to incorporate the common grid tool set that's used throughout Clarity. Secondly, uh, as part of that, the roadmap object itself has been exposed in Studio. The second capability we're going to talk about is uh, uh, the roadmap OBS import enhancement. Essentially, the inf infinite scroll is now available when you're using that OBS capability to import either project. Why is this important? Well, from the configurable roadmap list, uh, it's really important to, to in order to drive adoption, the tools have been asking for these, uh, customers have been asking for tools to view company-specific details, quickly edit roadmaps directly and uh, from that grid. The um, OBS import uh, in enhancement, so users essentially expect to navigate their entire or the complete OBS structure while they're performing that selection and import process to bring in investments into the roadmap items. In previous release, uh, only a, the first 25 records were afforded to the user. So what's changed? <clears throat> first, I want to just point out the configurable roadmap list. As I mentioned, it's been refactored, now incorporates the common grid tool set for column configuration, the flyout configuration, the save views, the filtering, the group by, export to CSV. All those elements are standard uh, pieces of the common grid that are now part of the roadmap list. Secondly, the roadmap object has been exposed in Studio. So now you can go into uh, the roadmap object itself and bring in a number of fields. And this example on screen here, I've got a department OBS, status, executive sponsor, a type. I've even got a spot for strategic narrative to uh, further define and help users manage their roadmaps. <clears throat> From the, the OBS import enhancement piece, you can see on the right-hand side the uh, 1571 view when you go in to uh, import projects as an example. You could, of course, use uh, ideas or custom investments. This is just a project example on the right-hand side. The OBS was just limited to 25 items and could go no further. So that left users uh, kind of frustrated that they couldn't bring in uh, other uh, investments that were uh, associated with other parts of their organization. So on the left-hand side, just an example of the 15.8 version of this unlimited scrolling. And you'll see all this in a, in a demo in a minute here. So we're going to actually go to the demo right now. We're going to do a few things here. One is just uh, look at or view the custom attributes that have been configured on the roadmap object. We're going to use those uh, within the roadmap list grid and filtering capabilities. And then last, we'll just uh, take a look at the infinite scroll and how that has been improved uh, for the user to import uh, investments and the example projects using the OBS option. So let me pop out of this. All right, <clears throat> since we're going to start right into roadmaps, first thing I'm going to do is I just want to show you the 1571 version of the uh, roadmap list. As you can see, it's not truly informational or useful. It's just got a static set of capabilities here, a few capabilities like as in delete, right? So let's go over to 15.8. I'm going to go into the roadmap listing. Now, <clears throat> this is using the common grid, as I mentioned. It really makes this um, view enormously powerful. You now have the ability to add custom attributes, add an OBS list, add an OBS to this roadmap list, and just take advantage of you know the flyout that's over here. You can configure the standard flyout component uh, is available. Um, the you guys should all know about how to um, add an OBS roadmap. Simply went into the OBS itself, 
enable the roadmap object. And then back on the uh, roadmap object, enable, do the uh, API enablement uh, for that OBS. And that allows you to bring it in directly to the grid and or um, on, the, on the flyout panel as well as here, whoops, as well as um, in the details area, for example, here you go. I can just choose and I've aligned these roadmaps with three. Oh, the other attributes that are here, <clears throat> I've got um, executive, kind of executive sponsor. I've got a type that tells us if this is related to a product or an application. I've got a status associated with this roadmap. Let me bring this over here. Um, and I've also got a place here for a strategic narrative to describe the purpose and relevance of the roadmap. So I'm looking at our default view here that includes all these. The save views comes uh, comes into hand really handy here. So show me all my uh, product roadmaps, right? Show me all of my um, uh, show me the the executives that are responsible for a particular uh, roadmap. <laughs> Coming back to my default view, I can uh, do a quick filter on uh, OBS. All right, just put in my OBS. I can look for IT. There it is. And I can then find all my uh, roadmaps associated with a particular portion of the organization. So <clears throat> this is um, super powerful uh, inclusion or addition to the roadmap listing allows for a lot of flexibility and enables these individuals managing roadmaps to get to a lot of information and categorize things as they see fit. All right, let's go to um, discuss the, the OBS option associated with the roadmap import process. So I'm just going to click on my new roadmap here just for sake of uh, going end to end here. Uh, obviously, there, you start with a blank uh, roadmap. Go to item actions, import from PPM. Just going to pick projects. I'm going to use the OBS uh, feature to bring in all in, all projects associated with a particular uh, uh, portion of the organization. And this is a fairly straightforward example. I can just continue scrolling through my OBS. This particular um, example has 29 rows, so. Uh, in the previous release, the user would not have been able to get to all of their organization. So we solved the big usability problem right there for those users. All right, so that uh, wraps up the demo. So this concludes the uh, roadmap improvement section. So we'll move on.